Hey you guys, Matt here with the fish tank and today I wanted to update you guys on that uh, little barrel, that half barrel that I had um, and just kind of go over um, you know some of the plants I have in here. Uh, I haven't really planted out the bottom or anything like that but um, I wanted to make sure I had some frog bit for the spring and so what you're seeing here, uh, well number one that filter that I built as you can see it's really cleared up the water um, but see there's muck on the bottom so that's just built up over time from algae die off and uh, all that it did turn the water just turned green after I had built it originally the water just turned green like it was just green water for probably about a month um, I added these uh, frog bit plants and then I also added these right here these are actually called um, mosquito fern um, they don't like a lot of light. I mean, they they like they can do full sun, but they're t they turn you know uh, purple like this or red like this um, when they get a lot of sun. So, but that's about it. They don't die or anything. They just turn color like that. But originally they were this color. Okay. So I built this half barrel and I built that uh, submergible filter. And you can see the other video. I'll put it at the end of this video so you can see. Uh, the last video I did on this but basically um, that's a huge submergible filter that I built uh, with um, you know cat litter <laughs> cat litter container and then a little power head down there um, so anyways um, I built this because I wanted to grow the frog bit outside of my aquaponics system and the reason for that is, is because this stuff eats up iron like crazy. So if you guys are going to put this in your fish tank, and I am going to do orders, but I'm only going to do orders in spring for this plant um, because I don't feel like dealing with that right now. I got too much stuff going on. Um, but this stuff grows really good um, if you add iron to your tanks. And later on, I can go over like different kinds of irons that you can use because different irons basically work for different pHs. So if you have a pH of, uh, of uh, seven or higher, there's an iron that you can use, but it'll just make your water look like Kool-Aid because it's, it's red. Um, but then there's an iron that if you have seven and under, um, it'll work uh, pretty well as well. And it won't turn your water too, too discolored. It'll just turn it to yellowish, okay? So anyways, um, so the water cleared up really well um, and as you can see and then the root systems on these frog bits some of them aren't doing too well out here but they turn color in full sun so it's not like they're dying off or anything like that but they do these things bounce back like quick style so um, so anyways yeah that's the filter down there and then um, you know what let's let's siphon some of that muck off and then uh, I'll top this off and then refill it so let's do that and then uh, I'll get back to you all right I don't know if you guys noticed but there is guppies all in here mostly males it looks like and then you have little tiny ones and as you can see there's a little current in here too so it just kind of swirls around And that cat that that filter it's huge but there's a lot of biological filtration going on in there um, so yeah it's cool uh, a little more about this before I start to clean out the bottom um, these plants like I said I had an algae bloom in here okay and these plants if you plant it out enough and you have enough biological filtration uh, the algae uh, has competition basically has competition with these plants okay now if you have enough of these plants these plants will eat up the nutrients in the water which will give the uh, the algae no nutrients basically and if they have no nutrients uh, they die off okay and so all that muck on the bottom is mostly dead algae uh, that has decomposed so some of its fish waste as well and then I have some snails in here ram's horn so um, so yeah these are starting to grow more because 
of the, uh, you know, the fact that they're eating up the nutrients before the algae can get it. And that is why the water has cleared up. And pretty soon, well, especially in spring, this whole thing will just be covered in um, frog bit. So, and frog bit's a really cool looking plant. So you know, let's clean the bottom. All right, so every once in a while, yeah, you definitely want to start clearing out, uh, you know, algae or, you know, dead stuff at the bottom. So, yep, I'm going to go ahead and try to siphon up some water. And I'm just going to let it drain out right here. And, of course, I'm trying not to drink this stuff. <laughs> some of you guys be drinking way too much fish water. <laughs> All right, so let me get some of this up. I don't know if I'll drag you guys through all this, but I do have a GoPro down inside here, so I'll grab some of that footage and put it together. Oh, check that out. There's wasps that are drinking the water. See, that's the cool thing too. When you have outdoor stuff like this, um, like water features, um, you know, nature can come around and they can drink the water basically, um, <clears throat> you know. To where you're providing for everybody basically that's why i garden too man if you guys haven't checked out my uh my other youtube channel it's pretty big actually it's got like 40 something thousand subs and um, i do gardening farming basically in the backyard i grow i grow a bunch of stuff uh in my aquaponic system and in soil as well so Yeah, I'm not going to drag you guys through this. Um, I'll let you see some of the footage, though, but I want to get a lot of this out. Because um, I, I don't want the nitrates to build up too high, even though the plants, these plants eat nitrates, which is great. But you don't want them to build up, so. And normally I don't even waste the water coming out of these things. I usually suck this stuff up and then I'll put it into my garden um, because you're talking really good uh, plant food, basically. Plant fertilizer. So anyway, I'll take you to the spot where I'm topping it off. And um, yeah, every once in a while you gotta do this, you know, but that's, what you got to do so anyway let's go ahead and go to that next part where I'm filling this up and uh, go from there all right there we go starting to top it off now <laughs> so anyways I am topping off the water now very professionally I did set this right set up so you guys can kind of see but I will lay it down later because I like how it gets basically the water flowing very gently um, so let me see here. So yeah, let me show you guys. So this is how I do it very professionally. See, I add this pipe to my aquaponic system. <laughs> see how professional I am? And then I just take this valve and I turn it up until this thing is full, which it won't take long now because I got this thing cranked up. Stupid sandal came off. <laughs> Stay on my foot. So it's a cool little water feature, you know, and it's some somewhere that you can actually put some plants outside, um, and you know, still have a good filtration, you know, and all that stuff. I better turn this thing off now. Let me take this pipe off. Obviously, I got all this PVC because I got some projects coming up, you know, so I got to plumb all of that. And I got some dirt now where I'm going to be leveling everything out. And so, yeah. But anyways, you know, if you guys like this video, all these things that are popping up, hit that subscribe button right there and uh, check out these other two videos. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And um, hopefully I'll be... Well, I will be doing more mon mon uh, Mondays. Fridays are my days for, for this channel. So that's when I post. So anyway, God bless you guys. And like always, peace.